What's up guys, this is Skytech Freak and today's video is actually about third party launchers for your Android device and specifically for Android devices running Android Pi, so Android 9.0 and above. Um, and the reason it's more specific to Android Pi devices is because the launcher I'm going to be talking about today, which is going to be Launch Air version 2, uh, is actually allows you to, or it supports um, the Android Pi gestures, so specifically the Android Pi recent apps gestures that most other third party launchers don't allow you to uh, support. So quickly just to bring out the difference between what I'm talking about and to explain it to you, I'm going to show you. Uh, right now let's go into Nova Launcher which is probably the most uh, popular third party launcher. You can see here there's a persistent back button that you can't really get rid of. And even on the pill, when you swipe up, there's really no animation or any transition. It just throws you sort of into uh, your recent apps. Um, when you press back home, it'll just bring you back. So as you can see, again, it's just a simple plain transition into these recent apps. Uh, as opposed to when you have your stock launcher, like the Pixel launcher, when you swipe up, it'll sort of show you your recent applications as well as uh, give you the option of dragging longer or dragging for the second time to access uh, your app drawer or your recent apps and things like that. Uh, so basically, no other third party launcher, and I think this is something that Android actively tried to do to discourage third party launchers, uh, was by implementing these gestures only with OEMs that make launchers. So I think so far, uh, and I do believe that a lot of third party launchers have spoken out about trying to work their way around this and create some sort of module that they can use to circumvent this integration and to allow uh, all those third party launchers also to be able to use uh, recent apps in the right way. But I think so far only launch air version two. So as you can see, there's launch air. And when you make that the, de uh, the default home, you can see the back button has vanished. And when you press up, here you can see that you still do have access to your dock. Uh, longer swipe does do that whole app draw uh, gesture. And of course, then everything else that's available through Android Pi's gestures become available to you. So basically, uh, Launcher has managed to do this and Launcher, the reason you would want something like Launcher over your stock pixel uh, launcher would probably be because of the amount of customization. That's like basically the reason why anyone ever goes to uh, third party launchers is just because they offer way more customization. There's you can uh, have themes, you can change what your icons look like. And of course, this is launcher version two, so it's not a final uh, release, like a final release of launcher. So it doesn't have all the features that launcher version one has. But Launcher version 2 is the only one that allows this integration uh, into the Android by recent app space the way it does. So as you can see, there's still a lot of customization. You can go on a theme, you can change desktop, you can change the dock, uh, you can change how transparent or how blurred the dock is and things like that. But the most important thing that I believe uh, custom launchers should have is uh, gestures. So as you can see, I have like pretty small hands. And so I can't always reach up to the top to pull down my notifications. So gestures like swipe down to bring out the notifications are just a huge help to me. So I don't have to drag my way all the way to the top. I can just swipe in the middle over here. Uh, similarly with swiping up to reach the app drawer, as long as you're not swiping on the area that brings up recent apps and you just swipe somewhere else on the dock, it'll bring up your app drawer. Uh, another thing I appreciate is that you can have gestures to uh, sort of double press anywhere uh, on the home screen to sleep the device. I don't have that enabled, but it's another really good one, especially if you have double tap to wake the display, then sort of it's easy to implement double tap to sleep the device and like your muscle memory to keep uh, waking and closing that up. Uh, anyway, so now that I've shown you that this is the functionality uh, of Launcher, in Android Pie, let me show you exactly how to do it. And it's fairly simple. You just need to do two things. Firstly, you need to download and install Launcher version two, uh, the APK on your Android 9 or Android Pie device. Uh, and the second thing you need to do is actually, and yes, for this, you do need to be rooted and specifically rooted via Magisk. It's not gonna work if you're on super user. Also, why are you on super user? Magisk is better. Anyways, so when you go into this, you just go into settings and I'll show you the module that actually enables this. Um, 
there we go it's the only one i have on this device right now it says lawn step uh, again that's just another pun so as you can see lawn chair is like a pun on launcher and then lawn step is a uh, wordplay with quick step which is basically the stock um the stock launcher that has these uh functionalities one more thing i would like to mention is that on every device that i've enabled a uh, launch chair with launch step as an installed the magic module on it uh the default or the stock launcher has just been force closing so if i make that the default one it just keeps force closing in which case i then need to go back to either launch chair or another launcher so it breaks the functionality for those recent apps on your primary uh, stock launcher but it gives the functionality to what I believe is probably a much better launcher than the stock uh, OEM option that you have. Anyways, so again, it's just two very easy things you need to do to get this functionality. One is install the APK of Launcher version two specifically. Uh, you can just download whichever the latest APK is. I'll have the link for that in the description below. And secondly, download uh, the launch step module. Uh, that module will again allow these recent apps to become available in that gesture format. Uh, again, the link will be in the description below and yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I did look around to see if there was a video that sort of show, uh, outlined something like this. There are a lot of videos about Launcher because it's such a popular, uh, you know, third party launcher, but I didn't really see anything that has at least in a video format shown you what launch step does as a magic module. So I thought it would just be interesting for you guys to check it out. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like and consider subscribing. That's all for now. Thank you.